This is a black comedy about televangelism, televangelism, and VHS. It's 1988's The Final Taboo. <laughs> this is a Henri Pichard film. Either my second favorite or my tied for favorite. Richard Mailer and Henri Pichard. I already said, oh, I already said it was 1988 and a black comedy, which it's both. It's also 85 minutes long. Our version is almost 12. We got John Leslie as Reverend Rhodes. Robert Bullock as Reverend Fryer. F.M. Bradley as Reverend Washington. We even have an assistant, Sally, played by Jack Baker, who wants to be Reverend Sally. A whole lot of reverence for reverends. I already said Henri Pichard directed this, but Michelle Stevens wrote it. Michelle Stevens only wrote three scripts in her entire life. Two, Henri Pichard directed, which is one of them we're watching. And the other one, John Leslie, who's the lead in this, directed that one. So she had a, she had a, she was an inside click gal. I like the final taboo. I like it a lot. So much VHS. So much VHS. Oh, so much VHS. I love it. This film is rated PG strictly because of deceit and backstabbing, sabotage, all these little just bad things going on in the background. There's not even one instance. It's just everything. Debauchery. All right, let's get into it. Jason from Barefoot, this is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. I'll be talking in the front, which just happened, and I'll be talking in the end of the film as well. Enjoy. Or don't. I come to you today to give you the word. In the word. The word is here in the book. You know, you're right. He really is sounding more and more like a politician every day. Now don't be so naive. We're all politicians in this business. You know that. Well, we go for the almighty dollar, not the vote. Yeah, but he really is running for the vote. He's running for Senate. Yeah, I know. We, we, must, we must strive to have racial response here. Do you hear what I said, people? I thought you two were friends. Business associates. If you ever want to get anywhere on this earth, Sally, you got to remember to tell the difference. First, you have a meeting at 10 o'clock with uh, Mr. Anthony, your accountant. I don't have any time for the small penny on the operators. Oh, and you have to record a sermon this afternoon at 2 o'clock. I know, I know. Your wife called you from New York and said she'd be late getting back. Wait, what? I uh, said she had to visit an old friend. Good. Good morning, Reverend Rhodes. Angela, how'd you get in here? Well, I walked in, naturally. You passed the guards? I handpicked your guards, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, which means they work for you. And you. Hey, listen, I don't mean to interrupt anything. Hold it a second. Sally, uh, could you uh, excuse us for a little while, please? I've been successful in placing one of my girls on Reverend Fryer's personal staff. As what? A housemaid. A housemaid? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got potential. What's your plan? All the usual. And I want you all to get down on your knees and feel the wants of the needy. Feel the hurt the less privileged. Fe Here's your sandwich, Reverend. Has Mrs. Fryer left for her afternoon appointment with the hairdresser? Yeah, she just left. And you know how she shops. Oh, she'll be gone for at least two or three hours. Oh, at least. Oh! Alicia? Uh, oh, don't look so worried, Reverend Fryer, really. Well, it's just that you're in such pain. Walk her in the 
Sergeants. Jason speaking. Might be of service to you. Miss Walker is indisposed right now. Um, would you like to talk to me about the matter? Yes. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm authorized to comment on that for Miss Walker. She does not intend to sell those at this moment. Do not sell. Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You have my report for me, Jason? I do. I do. Right here. One moment. All right. And here we are. Seems like everything's going according to plan. Reverend Rhodes, you look quite fine. I know that. Hello? Mrs. Walker? Alicia. Yeah, you're late. I expected your call earlier. Oh, what, tomorrow morning? Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Taggart will certainly be pleased. No, I agree with you. You should come back here afterwards or, you know, if not during. Just make sure you're there to let Jason in. Yeah, come right back here. That's right. You've done a real good job, Alicia. I intend to show you my appreciation. Yeah, yeah, I know. Good night. I'll get you. What? Go to bed. Hello. Hello, Rhodes? Yeah, Angela Walker here. Why are you calling me this late? Yeah? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You can hand the tape to him personally tomorrow night if you'd like. Oh, you will, will you? Well, that's fine. It's not really any of my concern. Yeah, you know, I promise I'll have the tape to you later that afternoon. And, uh, by the way, you might want to send your wife out. No. Yes, listen, you just be there with the money and uh, maybe I'll have a little special surprise for you. And right there is where he healed me. Well, I... I... I mean, you can help them out too, right? Well, I, I guess. That's what you said. Yes, yes. Here it is. Thanks, Sally. You remember how to work it? Sure do. Good, good. Everything all set? Yeah, the girls are there. They're going to help out. Everything looks great. Fantastic. Now, I want you to be real careful. Oh, and look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. All right. Let me see. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's all yours. Where's my money? It's right there, in the bag. Oh, man. My God! Angela, I could kiss you. <laughs> Except you're not going to. Well, looks as if our business is finished. You're now a very rich and powerful man. Oh, not yet, but tomorrow I will be. I suspect so. Here I have proof. Yes, proof of the moral decadence he was involved in. Proof! If you saw the images I have seen on this very videotape, you too would be filled with the sickness and disgust that I felt when I first... A gift from Robert Mustang Leroy from Minister Jeremiah Rhodes for Zelda. Something to set you free.
I heard you lost. I'm sorry. There'll be other times. Maybe for me, too. So I guess we're both a couple of winners, huh? Yeah. Real winners. Of course. You know, you're a very holy woman. Even if you are a madam. Oh, thank you. I know. I want all of you to come in now, please. You've all done a very good job. Thank, Thank you, Miss Walker. Walker. I want you to know I've got a little gift for you that's here in these briefcases. I want you to split it up equally. Are you all right? I'm fine, Jason. I'm just a little tired. So then it's um, finally over. <sighs> See you all later. More money than I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. This must be the minister, Nat Hobertson. Yes, it is. Good evening. Oh, uh, nothing really. I, uh, just wanted to tell you that it has begun. Trust me. came down unto me and he said brother Sally brother Sally what I need for you to do is to purge all these ministries of the hypocrites and lead the people down that righteous road but I don't want you running down that road in your converse all-stars I want you to be driving a big black Mercedes Benz yes the Lord needs Cruise control! Give me back my phone. What'd you think? What did you think? Remember when Giovanni Ribisi did a whole scene like this? In suburbia? Giovanni Ribisi's my favorite actor of all time. Although, he might be losing that spot. To who, you ask? To who? We're a little bit off topic. Well, who in the world could match the power of Giovanni Ribisi? That answer is obviously Michael Shannon. Neither one of those two are in this movie, so let's just... This film plays like a sitcom. A lot of exteriors to let you know what location we're going to. That's very sitcom-y. The exteriors, well, one of them isn't. One of them isn't. But almost all the exteriors are recycled clips. They're shot on film, put into this movie, shot on video. And if you didn't notice, when they cut, uh, one of the reverends is doing a live, uh, the TV, the whole televangelism thing, and they're showing the TD and the switcher, and that clip is on film. Could you, does anybody out there know what this is from? I would imagine it's from a, another Henri Pichard film. I'm sure he's recycling his own clip. So now, in the back of my head, I'm going to be secretly looking for that movie. If any of y'all know, just let me know, and then we'll both know. Shannon McCullough, I think that's how you say her last name. She does an amazing job. She has a non-adult job, which is very cool. I love it when directors are like, I just gotta have you in this piece, man. And they're like, okay. And they're like, cool, what time? And they're like, show up at nine. And then they come and then they do it. And then they're both uh, happy and they're in the movie in a non-adult role. That's probably how it went down. 
Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. This is the last taboo. Ha! It's the final taboo. This is the last taboo on our list. There are many different taboos out there. This is clearly the final taboo and the last taboo. So we'll do some more taboos in the future. But now, two little victories for me. All the Debbies are done and all the taboos are done. And I'm almost halfway done of 101. Well, we're in the 40s now. So when I'm halfway done editing the 50th re-upload, I'll be like, Jason, we're halfway done. Thank you for watching. I already said that. Don't subscribe. Don't like. Don't share. Just watch. You already know that because if you're hearing this, you're watching it and you've succeeded. We have a PayPal button if you feel so declined. <laughs> And speaking of, do you like what's on the TV every time it cuts to the old VHS tape? I can't show you, guys. I'm sorry. I'm here to shield you from uh, such things. And every time it cuts to the tape, it's just like a camo man on VHS. PNG me. PNG me right now. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.